what comes to your mind when you hear the word video conferencing? Well, I'm sure it is Zoom for most of the users out there. Well, Zoom has gained a lot of popularity in the recent past when it comes to video conferencing. But then it comes with its shares of privacy issues. And well, I'm sure you are here in this video addressing the same. So well, in today's video, I'm going to talk about seven cool Zoom alternatives that you can use if you don't want those privacy issues to be bothering you. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Now, the very first app in the list is WhatsApp. Yes, not for the business users out there, but if you're looking for something that you can use to make calls, I mean, to have some video conferencing done with your friends or family, you can definitely use that. And why do I recommend it? Because it's one of the easiest services to place a video call to your family or friends. And it is available on most of the devices out there. The one thing to remember here is that WhatsApp allows only four people on a video call, so that's there. Now that group limit coupled with the lower video quality makes it just for casual couts out there. But then if you're looking something on the business side or if you want better quality or more people on the call, I have something better for you. Yes, I mean this video is all about something better than the other. And well, the next app that I would like to recommend is Google Duo. Now, not only does the call quality is an upgrade on Google Duo when you compare it on WhatsApp, it also allows to add up to 12 participants in one call. Also, unlike WhatsApp, Google Duo is available on a skew of platforms. Heck, you can also use Google Duo right from your browser. So, be it your family calls, be it your friend calls, or if you want to just quickly make a call for a business discussion, you can definitely use Google Duo out there. Now the third name in the list is Skype. I mean, no video conferencing list is complete without including Skype and it has been there in this particular market for a long time now and it's still one of the best that you can use. Now the service offers almost the same functionality as Zoom and the servers are quite reliable nowadays too. The things to keep in mind here is that the free version allows you to add up to 20 members to a call as such, for a small business or meetings, that require only a part of the organization and the free version works really well. However, if you are a bigger organization and if you want more people on call, you can check out Skype for businesses. And if you are a team, let's say 1000 people, you can also check out Microsoft Team, which comes bundled. I mean, the Skype comes bundled with that particular package. So, of course, I mean, depending upon your usage, you can choose any of these. Now the next service that you can try is Google Meet or Google Hangout and of course you can consider Google Meet as an enterprises version of Google Hangout aka Google Duo. I mean depending on the platform that you're using it on. Now Google Meet is accessible only for members of Google Business Suite or G Suite but the feature it offers are great. You can add up to 250 members, take calls from your web browser or any other client, schedule calls that get synced directly to your Google Calendar, record calls and much more. And it also is one of the most intuitive services out there. Now, one thing I like to mention here is that only the host needs to be a part of the G Suite organization. And uh, any person with a Gmail account or a Google account can actually attend the particular meeting even though he's not a part of that G Suite business account. So, well, only the host needs to have that particular privilege. Now, the next up on the list is EZ Talks, and it's also one of the most promising services that you can try for video conferencing. Now, this particular app has amazing web and video conferencing features, such as full online meeting controls and an interactive whiteboard to brainstorm and bring ideas to life. You can share presentations, slide, audio and video with up to 10,000 participants. Apart from that, you have polls, you can chat in private even though in your meeting and you can also schedule unlimited calls using this particular app. But then just like Zoom, you have 40 minutes for those free account and you can upgrade to the premium version or the business version if you are looking to extend, like if you're looking for more feature and if you want to extend that 40 minutes time limit that this particular app has. Well, now moving on, let's talk about an app for a bigger organization. And in such cases, Zoho is something that I would really recommend. Now, the company offers a lot of business related products and Zoho Meeting is one of them. The service includes features like an integrated calendar and RSVP scheduling, as well as screen sharing and the ability to record and store webinars and conferences for later viewing. 
It also offers audience polls, question and answers, sessions, analytics and reporting. And the best part is that all these features are available for all the users out there no matter which plan they choose while they're opting for the Zuho products out there. Now, if you're looking for the best out there, you should go and check out Blue Jeans. And why do I say so? Well, because we want better quality, right? Like better audio quality, you get Dolby audio quality here. You want better videos, you get HD video streaming on Blue Jeans. Now you can install an app, but you can also take calls from the web browser and get the same functionality. You get all the great features like screen sharing, file sharing, scheduling, and much more. But what sets this service a class apart is the enterprise grade AES security that makes each and every call you place quite secure. So if you're looking to switch from Zoom and privacy is the reason that you're switching, you should definitely check it out because of this AES encryption that you have for all the video calls out there. Now, those were some of the best Zoom call alternatives. Now, if you're still, I mean, if you're still making call on Zoom, here are some of the best tips and tricks that you can follow on your computer or on your Android or iOS client to make good video calls using Zoom. Now, I'm not saying that you should use Zoom, but if you are using, hey, why not check those video out? And I'll provide you with the links in the description of this video. Also, if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do hit that subscribe button right now. So, well, that's all in this one. And I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.